Okay, thumbs up everyone. One thumbs up. Yes. For this year's forum, the semiconductor as a catalyst for the Malaysia economy. With uh, 2024 coming to a close, I would like to reflect on what the industry has achieved and what the industry should be doing in 2025. So far, 2024 has been a good year for the semiconductor industry. Yang Ahmad Baramat, Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim, our dear Prime Minister, launched the National Semiconductor Strategy in May 2024, which has garnered a lot of interest worldwide. We have received strong E&E &E investments uh, in this year and our E&E &E exports for the first 10 months from January to October 2024 is 491 billion ringgit, which is up 1.5% compared to last year. I'm still hoping that it will bridge 600 billion ringgit by end of this year. If, if we do that, that will be a record. Malaysians must change their mindset from mere users of technology to developer or an inventor of technology. Only then will we get higher value creation, the higher profit pool, the higher paying jobs. That's what I think YB Liu have been advocating throughout. This is possible if we own the technology, not only using and manufacturing it. Malaysian talents, you can do it. You have the government support and you have our support as well. But we also gather here to ponder a very difficult geopolitical situation. We all are fully aware that the semiconductor industry is at the heart of geopolitical tension. And therefore, we, we know that we are dealing with very difficult scenarios and very difficult situation in the years to come. The semiconductor industry offers huge opportunity for Malaysia, but at the same time, geopolitical risks are a double-edged sword. So in the first place, the current wave of massive investment into the semiconductor industry in Malaysia over the past two or three years was initially prompted by the relocation of supply chain away from China due to US-China geopolitical competition. So the competition has opened up a new opportunity for Malaysia, a window opportunity for Malaysia. However, and this is where, while we were chatting, uh, I, I thought I, I steal from CS mind because we were talking about the same thing, but I wrote the speech before I talked to him. So we should really, I think, great many things are like. Uh, if Malaysia continues to stay as an outsourced manufacturing site and not move up to do more sophisticated stuff, time and tide waits for no one in no time will, be, will not be relevant. Either because the supply chain is home shore to the United States and the more advanced economy, or the manufacturing work will be outsourced to a cheaper location. Then we'll be caught in the middle again. Malaysia, especially the semiconductor industry, will have to do more to create Malaysian technologies.